Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Landshark bringing you the finest on the water retribution casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have a free versus free. I'm just going to turn the volume down on my headphones because that's a bit loud. Um, we have a free versus free on the snow map with, yeah, there's a lot of snow. And on the, this team, on the blue team, we have Calzon. Calzern. I'm going to call him Calzern. Playing as the. Uh, Ravenet Alpha for Tyranids. We have the Dark Bull Bob playing as the Commander Knob for Orcs. We have Uncle Dolan playing as the Force Commander. Do you like the sick camera moves, by the way? I've been practicing. Uh, playing as the Force Commander. And I think he's got the Ultramarines. There we go. Look, looking very sexy. I just love the um, little um, plume, little um, like Roman Centurion plume on his helmet. We have Head Wrestler playing as the um, Fleeing Chaos Sorcerer. We have Trivia XVX playing as the Force Commander for Space Marines, and Anti Destablishmentarianist playing as the Lord General for the Imperial Guard. Which that's a, that's a long word. I think that's actually like the longest word in the English language. I'm not sure, but I got this um, replay off um, Dawn of War replays because, like, I haven't been playing this much this week because I've been busy. Don't ask me what I've been busy of, because I've actually done nothing. And so, yeah. So here we go, we have got um, uh, Tim is just moving in, destroying these um, Chaos Space Marines. They're going to have to want to retreat. But then again, these Hermagons might also want to return home, because they haven't got much left in regards to health or models. Yeah, Ravna will also need some healing as well, Ooh, a little bit like that. Um, we have the... Uh, Space Marines being supported by um, Shoot Boys and Scout Squads. Uh, the Sentinel is going to want to get out of there. The, um, it's not very good facing a lot of firepower. The Force Commander is going to get stuck in, going to knock all these boys around. But it's going to have to retreat. It's not have, it doesn't have enough support to be able to stand up on his own merit. Uh, Tyrion is just still with this VP capped here. Um, Force Commander, he, he's... No, he's, is he going to survive? I don't think he's going to want to stay in there for much longer. The um, main reason why I chose to download this game above all else was because the video was entitled Awesome. And, well, I don't know about you, but I quite like Awesome. So, it was only a natural progression. What um, unit is in here, I wonder? I'm not sure. Maybe I can see from here. I think we have got... Yeah, we have got... I think there's uh, Chaos Space Marines, or just, uh, actually no, no they are just Space Marines in the bunker here. Without flavors, these guys are not going to be able to do much, or without grenades, at least. Shooter boys with a couple of models, um, not there. Uh, Commando Knob, probably sneaking in, going to probably throw a grenade at that, um, those, um, oh, just getting really close in. There we go. Probably getting close in, so um, uh, he's got less time to react to see the... Um, men, I mean the men, the grenades even, full, full retreat coming from the Chaos Space Marines. <coughs> ah, there we go. Tactical Marines with the Flamer, the, these red Tactical Marines are now going to have to have no choice but retreat. And they're going to engage in melee, so the, um, the advantage of having a Flamer is going to be negated. However, with less health and no support, these Tactical Marines are going to force them off, but they are being supported by Assault Marines, so just narrowly saving these tactical Marines here, forcing a full retreat from um, Uncle Dolan. Going to be um, capping this uh, power point here, maybe probably either capping this requisition or moving on to this victory point here. Uh, Chaos Space Marines have now got a squad of Chaos Havocs, going to force these, um, these Termagrant Broods back. Since there's such a narrow choke point here, uh, suppression is going to be really useful for him. However, the um, the Ravna Alpha can do the tunneling thing, which will then knock over the um, Chaos Havocs, uh, forcing them to reset, and then you know negating any suppression advantage they could have had. Um, what's the um, builds like? We've got basic basic ordinary build for from uh, Tyranids. We've got. Um, Hormagrants, two Termagrants, and Warriors, a nice mix of ranged and close combat. For the Orcs, we have a fully kitted out commander, while sacrificing not uh, having as much um, 
in the uh, units wise as everyone else is. He's got um, two shooter boys and slugger boys considering that um, uh, he's facing against Imperial Guard Space Marines which is, is a good choice since um, the hand to hand combat squads against uh, Space Marines and Imperial Guard together usually melt before they get anywhere close in combat. Now uh, Uncle Dolan, he's not got any upgrades for his Force Commander, however he does have two uh, Tactical Marines, Dev Dev uh, Devastator Marine Squad and a Scout Squad, which is kind of like the exact bipolar opposite for what um, Headrest is going for, which is a Chaos Heretics, two Chaos Space Marines and Chaos Havertics, Hav Havux even. Uh, Triva, triv, tr tria, tria XVX, uh, going for Scout Squad, Tactical Marines, Assault, Assault Squad, Devastators, no upgrades on his Force Commander as of yet. We have got um, Slugger Boys being um, uh, infiltrated in, which is a glorious, glorious move over there. These guys are, uh, I, I wouldn't say like a full retreat would have been needed from there, maybe just um, the the Devastators retreating, um, maybe the Tactical Marines getting in close combat and then the Scouts just firing from length. This Sentinel might go down, escaping with two health. There's a Hero Sentinel right there. Um, Lord General has got uh, Stabilizers for himself, going to make him more viable to support his infantry, keeping them alive for longer. Everyone's just going mass tier 2 now. Um, surely everyone got the memo. Uh, Red Team has now got this VP. Uh, got both of these um, uh, requisition and um, uh, power nodes, but these are going to be quickly capped by the blue team. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer is now going to destroy this Ravenna tunnel, uh, stopping them from being able to um, reinforce their men as quickly as they can. Going to get some help being destroyed. Uh, they're also going to take o take on all these. Um, these um, requisition of power, power nodes. This power node didn't have, as far as I know, didn't have any. Um, uh, oh, what they're called? Power generators. Which is fairly unusual. You normally want at least two power farms. Oh, mind you, there's. Is there two? No, there isn't. No, there, no, there isn't. There was just one. Normally you have two. Do these guys have two? One. Uh, no, one power farm for each of these. So uh, the um, uh, energy is fairly even for everyone. We have uh, Red Chaos going in to destroy this um, power node that's being activated. Maybe not destroying it, but at least they're going to do some damage so they can come back to it later. Uh, Orcs are now pushing up. They have now got a Death Dread. Not a Killer Can, it is definitely a Death Dread. Walking like as if it has shat itself. But they do look cool. Damn, do they look cool. We have now also got a Razorback for the... Oh, there's, there's a combat going on here. Um, almost getting destroyed. I'm not sure what by. Maybe by um, some fire. Maybe by some... Does he have... No, he doesn't have any upgrades. But losing one squad of sluggers. Almost losing another. But yeah, as I was saying, Razorback being able to support these men for making sure that they don't have to retreat all the way back to the base before getting their models back. We have got some Stormtroopers for anti-establishmentarianism. Anti... Whatever his name is, I'm going to call him Anti, because screw him, they are going to get some anti-armor kit for all the um, armor that's come on. Uh, for Trivia XV, Tri Tria XVX, he's got some uh, plasma, Desperate Set of Plasma Cannons. And for um, uh, Blue t Tyranids, they have got um, some Venom Brood, which has range snaps. Also good against anti... I mean, good against tanks. So, while Blue Team has also got a good mix of tanks, they have also got some anti-tanks in case the Red Team want to respond by getting anti... In case the Red Team want to respond by getting more tanks to counter their tanks. Which is a very good, very good idea. They have now got two plasma generators as opposed to... These guys only just recently um, upgrading this power node. These guys have been in this here for quite some time. Slowly but surely destroying this power node. I think they would be more effective somewhere else. Lord General with his sniper rifle upgrade. And the head wrestler. Red Chaos is now going for his Chaos Dreadnought. In a straight up 1v1 fight, the um, Chaos Dreadnought would probably 
destroy the Death Dread. Death Dreads are, m I think they're the cheapest walker in the game. Well, opposed to Sentinels, but Tier 2 walker, they're the cheapest. However, they are also the most fragile orcs. Do not have a very uh, fragile, I mean, a very strong um, walker or vehicle, apart from obviously their super unit, which does all kinds of bad stuff. Um, these guys might want to move up. Actually, no, they don't because that's um, covered up by um, Havocs and Heretics. They might want to move around if they if you can't if you know that you can't win an engagement, you may as well move these guys somewhere else and engage somewhere else where you know you could be more use. Get a nice spread of units here. Uh, Razorback, I'm not sure if that's got any men in. It's probably got some men in. They wouldn't charge them in normally without um, without men in. Maybe. I'm not sure. Come on, you've got to have something in. Well, these guys are going to run away now with no support. There was no point in sending them in. Uh, Death Dread this might, might... Oh, took out one unit there. I think that might have been their... Um, yeah, that, that'll be of um, Trivia XVX's... Uh, what are they called? Assault Squads. However, he's going to try and sprint out of the way. Probably surviving, maybe so. Yes, he survives. However, Force Commander has now got Artificial Armor. Yeah, I was thinking he was going to go for the Power Fist upgrade, which is the um, most logical upgrade for the Force Commander one. There's a lot of infantry, well, there's a lot of um, tanks in. Uh, Orc player now getting in a Commando squad. Very good for um, flanking and just generally pissing everyone off. Uh, mass Tyranids now going to move in. Don't you just find the, t the um, Hormagons just a little bit cute with their jumping over cover? I mean, they are just a little bit adorable. Right, so these guys are going to move in. Uh, this choke point has been um, covered up by these devastators. However, they have been knocked back and lost the model from the from these guys. Uh, the scouts with their infiltration are able to see these guys. They're going to throw some grenades in. Are these blind grenades or stun grenades? They are also going to use. Um, I think it's the more DACA ability, which just basically, as you can see, destroying all kinds of infantry. Not not so good against heavy infantry, but against scouts, it just completely obliterates, but Force Commander going to get stuck in with his um, sh with his um, shield and um, hammer. It's going to tie up this um, Devastator squad. Uh, these tactical marines are going to be reinforcing from this Razorback. However, they're so low on health, they may as well just... And absolutely taking out that squad. That was, that was the last thing he wanted to happen. These shooter boys are going to try and take on these Devastators. If they can stick out the DPS, they can definitely take these guys on and they will retreat. Wise move. The uh, Commander Knob is now going for the uh, VP here. Uh, Chaos Havoc's just out of range. Uh, Going to be supported by the Chaos Dreadnought. He might be able to capture this before retreating. There we go. And now there's uh, three points. Oh, oh no, and um, just loses it narrowly. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer is going to be on the, and the Chaos, and Chaos, no, the Force Commander been taken out with this heavy turret um, overlooking this VP. We have got the Commander Knob throwing some grenades in before fall, falling back. He has got some stick bombs, extra equipment and a Shashunj knife. That reminds me of, um, I think there was a YouTube poop video of um, Speshmarinj which um, takes the mick out of uh, Dawn of War, Dark Crusade and Soulstorm, like, you know like where you take on the um, main base of the Space Marines, essentially it's the exact same video just with different visuals, so like, he like introduces the, oh there's, there's a kind effects obviously, you need um, kind effects for your Tyranids, that's just a natural progression, he's going to be getting some um, fawn back which will make him uh, be able to charge into combat which is a very good upgrade. Um, but yeah, but yeah, like um, the uh, what's it called? Yeah, the Space Marine intro video for when you assault their base. It intros the same video. He says, "Space Marines, come and join me in battle or something." And he, you know, speaks about how the Emperor is important and stuff. Which, you know, uh, Soulstorm. It was I personally liked the game. I didn't see any main problems with it, but it was essentially a rehash of um, Dark Crusade. I think and the um, the what they're called, the flying, the flying um, units, which I think was a cop-out, 
you know, they could have had they could have had so many um, better units, but instead they just uh, introduced rate flying units, which eh, I didn't like. Plus, I think they were too busy focusing on the uh, this this Dawn of War, Dawn of War Two, which, to be honest, I didn't like Dawn of War Two until Retribution, Retribution uh, Dawn of War Two, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, like retreating on it, like your units would retreat at 100 miles an hour, and there was just lots of other little, little bits and pieces. But anyway, part of my diatribe. Back to the game at hand. Uh, Force Commander is still down. Uh, just some power harass from these commanders, destroying one, two generators. They might want to retreat, or at least fall back. Oh no, no, they don't. They will use uh, the more DAC ability, and. Not losing any models, but taking a knockback from these devastators, they will want to retreat in case they don't want to. They, ha, they do not want to take two shots from there. They might be able. They got lucky from surviving from one without losing any models. However, two, I don't think we're going to get so lucky. Uh, Ravna brood. Um, no, they're not going to be able to take that on. There's just um, the chaos dreadnought is being supplied by so much zinch chaos space, which I think is actually going for the um, for the zinch. Um, achievement, you know, where you use nothing but Zinch upgrades for your guys. Yeah, I think that's what he is doing. Well, go on him. I think it's the most easiest of the three to get, as opposed to the. Um, I think the hardest one is the Nergal achievement, where you use nothing but Nergal upgrades and Nergal infant and Nergal units. So obviously that would be no upgrades, or at least no um, tier two upgrades for your Chaos Space Marines, nothing but Plague Marines. Um, you'd be able to use a super unit, which is always a bonus. Is the <laughs> I think the commander knob is going to solo these guys. Oh, probably going to lay down some um, kaboom traps. He's got a, his rocket launcher, effective against vehicles. Probably going to try and take out this heavy turret. Uh, have these guys no no detection? I, can turrets automatically detect? No, this is not. Don't know what to. Um, trying to revive this force commander before dying. He might be able to do it. And no, he gets knocked back, and he is going to be forced to retreat. Good effort though. Nice try. I do say. Um, so what? What are the upgrades? We have got a rod of, of warp fire for chaos sorcerer and vestments of Zivorp. We have force commander who has now been. Oh no, this is a different force commander. He has now got power fist and artificial armor, same as before. Similar upgrades as before: stabilizer, sniper rifle. Force commander still on the go, so we can't see what he's got. As we just mentioned, rocket launcher. Extra equipment and kaboom. And Ravna Alpha with his Synapsis Aura. Improves damage of units close to the Ravna Alpha. We have now got two Khan effects. Of course, if um, at first you don't succeed with uh, Tyranids, just get more Khan effects. And just keep on getting more Khan effects until you win. And I like the colour scheme. It's just all green. You know, as if the Ox needs to be more green. Um, Orc Battle Wagon. Which I, I I wish it had like a um, a melee option, you know, like like a melee sweeping attack. Because this 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 um thing here just doesn't seem to do enough damage. Uh, does not want to turn around because he will get all his rear armor attacked. But he is using his um roller stomper, roller polioli thing, doing more damage, charging over the um the chaos space marines. I'm not sure whether he's got um oh no I think he, yeah um to activate this vehicles, anti-infantry weapons, you need two squads of anything in there, which I think, I'm not sure if that, um, the anti-infantry in the battle wagon, is he, is he, yeah, he's just, he's just thinking, you know what, screw this, I've almost killed some, I may as well just take it all the way here, and yeah, he's going to focus down on the anti, yeah, there we go, the anti-tank is down, so now he's just able to just sit here and just do as much damage as he can, there's going to, someone's needing to come in and help them. We've got some rocket launcher guys here, but I'm only person that they might need to have some more to... Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> the Orc Battle Wagon has been flanked by a Land Raider. I'm not sure how one can sneak by without you noticing. Uh, some Plague Marines. This, this is the worst possible area for a Battle Wagon to find himself in. He's going to use the Roller Stomper to move these guys out of the way. He's just going to try and move through as quickly as possible. Still exposing his flank to the land raider. He's going to want to get out of there as soon as possible. We've got some storm boys. I'm not sure 
what he's going to achieve by charging in there. He's now going to have to retreat all the way back. Um, these guys are preemptive retreat. I'm not sure. I, I don't. Maybe, maybe like moving back, back to about here, but not not a full retreat. I mean, Termagants are p quite fast anyway. The Orc Battle Wagon nearly getting taken down. The Khan effects just getting absolutely melted by this Land Raider. Again, like I said in the last game, thing about walkers is that um, if you've got a vehicle and the walker's walking towards you, trying to destroy you, all you need to do is just reverse and the uh, walker won't be able to do anything. Unless, of course, it's got a gun, which, to be honest, I don't think was going to do much against a Land Raider anyway. Uh, Carnifex is sticking out, trying to destroy all these um, Plague Marines. Uh, Ravino Alpha is going to also come in, trying to destroy these guys as well. They, he's overextending. He has one. They, they need to. They need to move back, just a little bit. Uh, Red team has now done some serious pushing. Uh, everyone's got. Everyone's going. Uh, um, tier. Yeah, everyone's tier three now, and everyone's just getting their super units. I would love to see the um, the Tyranid. Super unit, the oh, what's it called even? That one with the swords, you know what I mean. Of course, you know what I mean. Um, because they're they're not used nearly half as much as they should do. They are just generally awesome. They have an ability where you can like reinforce where they are. And oh my god, almost taking out. I think taking out one of them. Almost taking out two of them. His attention is probably fixed somewhere else. Taking out two two units of termagants there. Porsche, but he's getting a third kind of effects. Again, like I said, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again with more Carnifexes. Um, Anti-establishment terrorist is now getting a Bane Blade. Trivia XVX is getting a Predator, probably to help counter the um, amount of Carnifexes. Uh, what else is everyone else getting? Uh, just sold quite a little bit at the moment. Everyone just regathering, gathering their their thoughts going to be decapping this requisition point and re and recapping this power nerd. Um. <laughs> oh, that's another thing that I didn't like um, originally about the original Dawn of War 2. Like, the voiceover for the Tyranids was like a computerised woman. Like, I can understand from a synapse point how it might be more robotic and, you know, very metallic, but... No... Just no, nah. it just it just doesn't go for fluff if you know what I mean, with the um, with the storyline of the of the Tyranids, you know the the guy oh he's gonna the commander knob might uh, throw some grenades getting too close, he is gonna oh self destruct, there we go doing a lot of damage to himself but also doing a lot of damage to them, he's gonna want to away run want to run away but he is gonna be taken out that was a uh, bad bad choice but. Hey, we learn from our mistakes, and to be honest, suicide is, is always a cool cool thing. Uh, the Tyranids, um, I'm not even sure what this is called, I just call this AIDS. Uh, capillary Towers just coming along, just penetrating the skin of the Earth, making love to the Earth. Yeah, providing a nice little um, synapse for any Tyranids that are nearby. The Tyranids are now pushing up with three can effects, uh, one with Venom Cannon, uh, another with a Venom Cannon, and this one with Thornback. I think he's also got the um, Crushing Talons there, but uh, for some reason it's not showing up, which essentially just does all kinds of damage. It just basically opens people up like a can of worms. Uh, Land Raider being healed by someone by the Scouts. They might think of it as a worthy investment for this can effects too. Uh, there we go, the Land Raider is, is dead and gone. Uh, even if this can effects goes down, it was a worthy investment. While retreating, he might want to try and get this guy to attack him. But then again, when retreating, there we go. That's just unlucky. And the death animations for these guys are pretty cool. But will they explode? You see, another thing is that... Um, do these guys leave a, a husk? Yeah, they do. I was about to say. Because, um... I don't know. Like, I remember a, um, a game for PlayStation 1. If you ever went on the um, Buzz Lightyear game where you're essentially running after a guy it's like every time you fight an enemy, even if they're an organic enemy they explode and like when you fight a boss when you fight the boss uh, there's like, you know, there's obviously like you hit them three times and you kill them essentially but um, when they die they do like a little dying animation 
they have the last final words and then they blow up. I don't think Buzz Lightyear would ever kill someone like that. Buzz Lightyear is kind of like Batman in the sense that he just won't kill his enemy. Even though it would just save him a lot of hassle in the future. But then again, if you kill the enemy, then you are no better than them. Thankfully that rule does not apply in this game. Two kind of fixes are going to be destroyed by this Bane Blade. That is not a worthy investment. But Terminators are going to be moving into the flank. Going to be attacking the rear armour with their... Yeah, Terminator Assault Squad with their big day power weapons. Now this... I'm now going to be exposing his rear armour to the Terminators. These guys are going to go down. It's going to go down, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And the Terminator is going to be... Um, transporting away trying to escape another advantage of having a land raider is that you can set it as a a whatchamacallit a a rally point so instead of re retreating back to your base you can retreat ah and then we've got some uh, terminal assault squads transport transporting teleporting here going to be capping this vp and um, what was i going to say oh yeah so instead of like retreating all the way back to your base, you can just retreat back to your land raider, which is always good fun. It means that you can keep up the pressure all the more. Got some uh, Terminators going to be moving in, denying uh, uh, Head Wrestler this victory point. Going to be forcing them back, but going to be supported by these Plague Marines. I presume that this does some sort of um, area of... AOE damage to anyone that's in close combat. Um, these Ravenous Marines are going to be wanting to run away. That's far too much range for one Assault Squad to deal with. Problem with Assault um, hand to Combat Squads when facing a lot of range is that um, you can... With, uh, we've got a turret coming in as well. This Land Raider is pop Yeah, he's not going to escape by running away. These Terminators are just going to keep at him, so he may as well just go in and do as much damage as humanly possible before dying. But with a, whatchamacallit, with a close combat unit, it's a bit difficult to get, make useful of them when there's like a lot more ranged units than there are your assault units. Because, you know, one ranged unit, I mean, um, one assault squad can be tied up by one ranged unit at a time. These are, he's not going to, just run. Or he's teleport away. Oh, he's going to, he's going to. Almost, almost reinforcing. I think it was almost reinforcing. But poor sure. So not only did he lose a Land Raider, but he also lost a Terminator Squad. Which is... I mean, and what did he gain from that? What did he gain from that? I mean, usually... I mean, it's okay to lose, like, a super unit or something big. So long as you... What's the word? So long as the trade-off is worth it, if you know what I mean. So, like, if I, you know, like, if I lost a super unit, but I took out three of their units, you know, like, three tier three units, or, like, three tier two units, that would be, I would think that would be worth it. And, by the looks of things, um, red team are going to take the victory. We have got 12 to 90. It's only a matter of time before... Oh, but then again, blue team have captured this. So, who knows? Maybe these guys might take it back. Uh, the Orc Battle Wagon is going to be taken out by the Predator. Out of control, he's now just going to move towards these guys. They're going to want to move away. Unless they want it to explode. But, when the Battle Wagon explodes, they are now... These um, units are now able to attack of their own volition. Oh, we have... <laughs> I like the um, animation where they, um, where they jump and like a couple of these storm boys are like, they look like as if they're going to like fly off course or like they're going to crash because they're like moving sideways and stuff. Uh, we have got Slugger boys like moving in to like attack the Predator. Uh, not very, not a very good idea, but we have got so many Ravenna Broods and a Ravenna Alpha upgraded with a Corrosive Devourer, making it very effective against vehicles. We've got a Venom Brood, also effective against these vehicles. Uh, Plague Marines, um, very effective at just staying alive, because when one dies, it heals the others. He's lost one squad. However, getting more support from these guys. We have got a Terminator Assault Squad moving in with Lightning Claws, making them all the more devastating in close combat. 
Are these? Yeah, against heavy infantry and infantry. Losing out against their anti vehicle, but then again, they still do a heck load of damage. We have now got um, Orbital Blast, Orbital Bombardment, coming in for the. <laughs> they really do not want this uh, victory point being captured by the red team. Obviously, with so little. Uh, mo so little points left, they just do not want it. They got um, the... Did they? Oh no, they teleported last second. Just narrowly escaping. Force Commander is going to move in, going to try and capture this. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. If he is the unit to tank out, being able to take on this victory point, he is probably the unit. A uh, Homogon Brood is now going to be taken out by another orbital strike. I'm not sure if this is from the same guy. What, I mean, from which space we player this is from? I mean, he has none of no, no one's been really using their um, uh, global abilities as far as I'm aware, apart from the um, Terminators. So maybe they, maybe one guy had enough for two, but then again, I highly doubt that. We have got a heavy weapon squad just dealing damage. I no, he's not got an arc cannon, so there's no suppression. Suppression would have been really useful here, if I'm completely honest. Um, the uh, um, Storm Boys are going to be moving in and just destroying. They might want. They might have wanted to use uh, one of the Bomber Boys' ability, which you know Kamikaze is one of their units in to just do massive damage to someone else. You know. But then again, you know, that's just what I do. And for Blue Team might actually win this. They have come back from 12 to 90 to 12 to 14. And with the Orc Slugger boys moving in, catching these guys from the rear and flanking them, Blue Team is, is now in the lead. Um, Devastator Squad is going to try and capture this before they lose. Will they be able to uncapture it beforehand? Uh, yes, yes, they have ma narrowly managed to survive. Um, these guys are going to try and recapture. These th they're going to have to move in. No, this is this is this is well done. Over this is. Get to get to get. That's all, folks. I think that's what's going on now. Yep, recaptured. These guys are going to go down. And Plague Marines. Actually, no, no, no. They they decapture at this point. No, almost. Uh, and one left. This is still going on. This is actually quite an epic game. I must say so myself. And um, so much timidness here, though. They they what they can't. They just can't retreat. That's just not an option for them. They need to hold this for as long as possible. They need to focus fire on these guys. They only have one point left. If this gets captured, they will lose. And that one guy, head wrestler, throws out the GG. And that is the end of the game. That was a superb game, if I do say so myself. Really tense. Blue team just narrowly pulling it out in the end with a red team almost just, just hanging in there for, for, for as long as possible. Thank you very much. If you were have games, please please feel free to send them in. My Steam name is Test Duplicate, and you can always talk to me on there for more info. Um, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.